What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add product options to your products on WooCommerce. Now, for example, we're gonna be creating this pizza product here, and you're gonna be able to add options like your sizing, which will adjust um, your price here. And then we can add toppings, which is probably one of the most important parts, because I, like, I feel like I've been trying to figure this out, and I finally found a plugin that actually allows you guys to do this. So you, can, you guys can uh, checkbox any of these, and it will adjust your price accordingly. You can even add notes and a bunch of other options to your product as well. And I feel like this is really gonna help you out for those that are trying to create a restaurant um, website or are trying to make a website for your meal prep um, company. Now, if you guys wanna learn how to do this, uh, go ahead and stick around. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. Go ahead over to your plugins and click on add new. And then go ahead and type in product options and we're going to want to install and activate this plugin here called simple product options for WooCommerce and then click activate now head over to your products now I've already created my product as you can tell I have a product called pizza so I'm going to go ahead and click edit so make sure you create your product. And then now we're gonna have an option here that says custom options. So go ahead and click on that. And this is where we're gonna be able to add our um, product options. So for instance, since this is a pizza, we're gonna be adding toppings and size and all that sort of stuff that we need for this product. So now from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on add options. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose size. And then I'm going to do a drop down and I'm going to do, I'm going to do small. It's going to go first. Now small, I'm going to leave it at zero because small is just going to be my default price, which is $6. And then medium, I'm going to go ahead and add $1 to the medium. And then my large, I'm going to add $2 to my large pizza. And then I'm going to click update. And then I'm gonna show you guys how this looks. There we go. As you can tell, small will stay at my same price. Medium, will the price will get adjusted. So that's why I prefer doing this method because it just shows one price. And I'm sure whoever's ordering on your website just wants to see one price, not multiple prices. That will probably be pretty confusing. So anyway, let me go back to custom options. And then the next option I'm gonna add is my toppings. And I'm going to use a um, checkbox because they're going to be they're going to be uh, adding probably multiple um, toppings. And then I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to add my uh, my list of toppings here. So I'm going to have pepperoni. I'm going to do one dollar for pepperoni. And then I'm just going to choose a couple of these here. So onions, for instance. I don't want to go ahead and choose all of them just because it's going to take a while for me to choose all of them. So I'm just going to choose the main ones. Um, sausage because I like sausage, to be honest. And then I'm gonna do pe uh, pineapple here. And I mean, we could do, let's say for sausage, it's usually like $2 for sausage or something. And let me add one more topping here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the mushrooms. Okay. And I'm gonna do $1 for those. Perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click update. And then I'm gonna view my product here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. And now we have our toppings. So then we go on here and we choose our size of our pizza. We want a medium. And I want to add some toppings. I wanna to add pepperoni, onions, sausage. As you can tell, the prices is getting adjusted, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. Now, what I would like to see in the future um, for them to add to this, this plugin is the option to add an image right next to this checkbox, just cause it would be kind of nice to have a little you know, visual effect um, to each topping. So, and even, even the sizing, that'd be kind of nice as well. So, but Hey, this is, this, all uh, this honestly works already. So I'm going to go ahead and just do pepperoni, sausage, pineapple. Okay. And then I'm going to click add to cart. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and view our cart. And there we go. So we have $11. Remove this one as well. So my original price would have been six if I didn't have all this other other options here, but it's actually 11, so it's perfect. Now I'm gonna exit out of this and I'm just gonna go back to my product here. I'm gonna refresh this, there we go. And then I'm gonna add some more options to this. So I'm gonna click on add option and then I'm gonna go ahead and add um, extra notes because sometimes people like adding notes to their orders. So I'm gonna type in extra notes and then I'm gonna go ahead and choose area. Now you can do a field as well. You can even do a pricing for that. Um, in case any extra notes would have been, uh, you would have had to charge something extra, then you could do that as well. And you could also sort this by order if you wanted to change the order of this. So this is uh, gonna be all the way at the bottom. So it's number four. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this. And there we have, now we have an extra notes box. So. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change, change this to large, do onions, pineapple, do all of these. I'm gonna add um, uh, notes, message. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click add to cart. And then notes message is right there. I'm gonna click on proceed to checkout. And there you go, and then the person would fill out this information and uh, they could go ahead and just order from there. So it's actually pretty cool. I mean, in my opinion, you can use this for, you know, whether you're doing a restaurant or you're doing a meal prep or anything like that. I feel like this cause this is going to be really useful for you. Um, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys do have any questions on this, just feel free to comment down below and I'll try to help you guys as much as possible. Um, as always, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe and also like the video. It helps out um, the videos out a lot. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.